everyone, welcome back to the kitchen and today I have a fun holiday craft for you. This is a super easy way to make really beautiful and elegant looking ornaments super fast and on the cheap. These glitter ornaments are going to be something that you're going to turn to over and over again and I can't wait to show you how they all come together. Okay, so these glitter ornaments are something I've been making with my girls for years and we do have the luxury of having a Cricut machine. So a couple of years we have actually done these glitter ornaments which are really easy and they just take simple supplies and we have cut out names and um, in sticky vinyl and we put them on here but today because I know not everyone has a Cricut machine, we're using some dimensional puffy stickers from the craft store. I just went through my stash and I saw what I could use today to share this with you, but the craft store has an infinite number of possibilities and you can go pick whatever you like and you can personalize these or make them beautiful and give them away as gifts or put them as package decorations. So I'm gonna show you how to make these today, of course, you're gonna need just a few supplies. So let me just get this out of the way. First, you're gonna need some of these ornaments. Now these are glass ornaments. These are not glass, these are plastic. Mm -hmm. You can use glass or plastic. The ones that I have over here are glass. I had them on hand. I went ahead and I found these. These are plastic. You can use whatever it is you like. It just doesn't matter. Um, some are different sizes and you can use the round ones. The, I like these flat round ones because I think they're classy looking. Um, the glass ones can tend to be a little more pricey, but you just decide what you want to do. And then you're going to need some glitter. Now I have a giant box full of glitter. You can pick what you like. Now you see this is a bigger chunkier glitter. This one is not what you're going to want to use. You want to use a fine glitter. doesn't matter what brand it is, but you're going to want to use a nice fine glitter because that's going to give you the best result. You're going to need a piece of paper. Fold it in half and open back up. And I'll show you why in just a second. It is helpful but not necessary to have a craft funnel. You can use a regular funnel if you have one that will fit in the top opening of your ornament. You can also use a piece of paper rolled into a cone to assist you in getting the glitter inside the ornament. The last thing you're going to need is an adhesive. And I use hairspray. You want to make sure that you get maximum hold. This cost all of 89 cents at the market and that's all you're going to need. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the top hanger part off of your ornament and be careful. These things can really hurt if you take them off the wrong way. Now, they can break your glass and, and if you have a glass ornament, you can actually crack it if you don't hold it the right way. Take your hairspray and give it a few pumps and then give it a few swirls. You want the inside of this to be completely coated. I have in the past just given it a good shake and turned it, give it a good shake and turn it. And if you have any excess, get yourself a little dish and just drip it out into there. You can reuse that hairspray later. Take your glitter funnel, and I'll be using this color today. And you wanna get a good amount of glitter in there. And you don't wanna to wait too long after you spray your hairspray in there before you do this. Pour in your glitter and give it a good shake. If you see that you didn't maybe get as much coverage as you like, pour a little more hairspray in there or give it another spray, give it another shake, swirl it around, pop some more glitter in there. And shake it until you make it. When it looks good for you, and you're happy with the result, go ahead and give this a good shake downward. Do not tap. You're gonna wanna be, you're gonna want to tap the side. Don't, 
don't do that because if you do, this will come up away from the side of the ornament. Now I will say, <laughs> the glass ornaments do work better than the plastic for this and I'll do a glass one after we do this one and I'll show you why. You're just gonna wanna let this air dry for a couple of seconds and if I had more glitter here, so I'm just gonna show you what happens. If you have more glitter, the reason we have this piece of paper folded up in half is because you wanna get that glitter back in the container and that little channel from the fold is gonna help you aim it directly back into your small container. I use this also when I do embossing powder. Now all you have to do is decide if you wanna leave it plain, you can put a bow on it, or we're gonna put um, a little ornament, little embellishment on here, and I think I'm gonna use this one. This is just a cute little canning jar. It's a little acrylic sticker and it's like a little snow globe. It's got some fake snow inside there, and I think it just looks really cute. Now, you wanna wait for this to dry a little bit, and then you can pop the top back on. You can put a ribbon or a, a hang tie on it if you like, and you're good to go. That's really cute and super cheap to make. These um, ornaments, I think, Right now at Michael's, they're like 60% off. You can get them super cheap. They're less than a dollar a piece. I'm gonna make another one, but I'm gonna grab a glass one just so I can show you the difference. I think that the hairspray sticks better to the glass ornaments. So this is a glass ornament. I don't know if you really can tell by hearing that but again we're just going to go ahead and about 10 or 8 or 10 little squirts of the hairspray and then I just kind of like to go around and make sure you've got good coverage and then any excess if you don't shake out the excess hairspray it can get ugly you see how much nicer it adheres to the inside of the glass. I don't know why. Um, it could just be because the glass is a lot easier for the hairspray to adhere to. And there you go. That is so pretty. Like I said, we're gonna pick, let's pick a, a cute sticker to put on there. And like I said, you can, um, you can personalize these if you are fortunate enough to have um, a cutting machine This is just a little dimensional sticker. Everybody has access to stickers. Just super cute. And these are great to give as gifts for kids. You can take um, a Sharpie paint pen and you can write the child's name and the year on the back and you can personalize it that way. And then they'll have, um, you know, my mom growing up always Right, it would be a memory for that Christmas. Growing up, my mom always gave my brother and I an ornament every year, and it was always dated, and it was always, you know, something that um, we were into during that that time of our life, and still, she gives us ornaments every year. Um, but they're just, they're not as, you know, they're appropriate for our age, I'll just say that. But by the time I left home, I had a good collection of Christmas ornaments to start, by the time I had my very own Christmas tree in my own home. So that's a little something that is a nice tradition to start if you haven't thought about doing that for your kids. Well, there you have it. A super sweet and easy and cheap ornament idea for you to make this year with your kids or your grandkids or just by yourself. You can crank a whole bunch of these out in absolutely no time. All you have to do is go to the craft store, buy yourself some of these ornaments. You can get them individually or you can get them in sets of six or 10 or 24. They're super economical. Like I showed you, the glass ones work better than the plastic ones for this particular application. You can decorate them any way you like. I can think of a thousand different ways you could decorate these and they would still be cute. So it's your choice. Go see what kind of stickers tickle, tickle your fancy or maybe you have a Cricut machine or a Silhouette machine and you can cut out vinyl and personalize it 
or Sharpie paint pens are always a fun way to go. You don't even have to use glitter inside these. You could put fake snow and glitter. You could put little pom-poms and just little cute things inside and make a really beautiful like menagerie ornament and it would be really really cute so I hope this gives you some inspiration and some ideas on what you can do to make a little handmade holiday gift this Christmas I hope that you give it a try and if you like today's video please consider giving me a thumbs up and if you are new to my kitchen welcome and you wandered on over to see what you could find out about making homemade gifts I'm so glad to have you join me. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you are a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, please be sure and hit the bell notification button because we don't want you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes, and holiday crafts that we cover right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope that you give these glitter ornaments a try sometime soon, and I hope that you love them. And until next time, I'll see ya.